thank you once again for joining me, Magnus the Math Magician. As you've come to expect, I'll be doing some magic and math. But today, you need to participate. Yes, that's right. Each of you watching is part of the trick. First, I need you to choose a number between 1 and 10. You'll be doing some mental math with this number, so choose wisely. I'm going to let this deck of cards show us what to do. And give it a little shuffle. All right, you have a number in mind, right? Here we go. Multiply your number by two. Do you have your new number? I'm going to cut it a little bit more. All right, next, add four. That's pretty easy math. Let's draw some more cards. Looks like you need to divide your number by two. I hope you had an even number. Next, minus, oh, that's not a number. Uh, no problem, I have an idea. Take your current number and subtract from it the number you chose at the beginning. You can think of it this way, new number minus original number. Are you still with me? Do you have an answer? Now I'm going to see if I can guess your current number. I think it's somewhere in this deck of cards. Ah, a two. Is two the number you came up with after all that mental math? Hopefully those numbers weren't too difficult to work with. But what if you come across something like this? 260 divided by four. That's not a basic division fact. Here are some tricks for making mental math and estimation easier. First, check to see if the dividend is a multiple of 10. 260 is the same as 26 tens. Smaller numbers are easier to work with, but 26 divided by four still isn't a basic fact. We should find compatible numbers, numbers that are easy to work with mentally. Do you know any multiples of four that are close to 26? How about 24 and 28? 26 is between them. Now we use four as a divisor and solve those familiar near division facts. 24 divided by four equals six, and 28 divided by four equals seven. Remember though, we're actually dealing with 24 tens and 28 tens. So the answers are really 60 and 70. Why do we care? Because with those two numbers, we can estimate the answer range of the original division problem. Since 260 is between 240 and 280, our answer for 260 divided by four should be between 60 and 70. To find the exact answer, you'll need to solve the division problem. Unless you're a math magician, of course. Hmm, 65, is that right? Check it out for yourself.